Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm going to give you my review of the Samsung Droid Charge. The Droid Charge is the second Verizon 4G LTE device that's on the network. I'm going to give you my review. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to start off with a nice hardware tour with a really, really nice backdrop of the uh, city of downtown Boston. Start off here with the screen. It is a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Plus display. So the images look really crisp, really sharp on here. We'll show you that a little bit later. Right here on the top is a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. And on the bottom here, which is very different from a lot of um, high-end Android phones, you have physical buttons here at the bottom for your menu, home, back, and search. Right down here is your microphone port. On this side here, you have your volume keys. Then you have your micro USB port right here. On the top here, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On this side, you have the power button and HDMI port, but they do not include the HDMI cable, which is a little lame there. On this side here, we have a 8 megapixel camera with 720p video recording and flash. Be sure to check out our review, our camera review of it is there as well. You can see that the images look really good, camera look really sharp, everything is really good with the camera. And right down here at the bottom, we sort of have this little bump here. This is where your, um, your speaker is located. So that's pretty much it for the hardware tour things. Um, obviously, we didn't do an unboxing here, but I did want to at least show you what the box looked like. It did come in some really good packaging, as you can see there. Really cool, really nice presentation from uh, Verizon and Samsung here. So inside, the, as far as internals are concerned, they did pre-install us with a 32 gigabyte SD card. It does come with a one gigahertz application processor. It does have Verizon's 4G LTE in it. Oh, and on the processor, it is a, one, a single core processor as well. And obviously Android 2.2.1 with uh, TouchWiz in front of it. And we're going to take a look at how well the software works. Okay, let's take a look at the software that's on the Droid Charge by Samsung. Now, I decided to do this indoors because I wanted to show how bright the Super AMOLED Plus display really is. On our Fuse 4G review, we did the software review outside to show you how well the screen, the outside of the Super AMOLED Plus display as well, looked outside. So I decided to do this one inside to show you how bright and, bright and crisp it is because this is all the way up to the highest brightness and you can see it's very crisp, very nice. It, it, the screen just looked good. Super AMOLED Plus is a very, very good display technology. So let's take a quick look at the software. Software. It's obviously Android 2.2.1 with uh, TouchWiz on top of it. Typical things that you've seen in TouchWiz before, nothing too different. You have your widgets, different widgets here for quick access to things. And you have um, your apps, your applications. You hit that, your applications will come pop up. And you have the little icons and stuff, stuff that you've seen in Android uh, and um, TouchWiz before. So no real surprises there. And um, you can see here, I'm pressing the physical buttons. That's a little bit different. It, it's kind of a bit of a welcome change. I, it, it's it's different from the capacitive. It does feel good to touch a, a button down, and it doesn't cheapen the look at all. It still looks really good, which is one of the things I like about it. And uh, let's check out the Media Hub here. It's one of the additions that they've added on to this, the Media Hub, which allows you to um, download content, movies, and TV shows, and play right on the device, or play it on your TV too, with the included HDMI cable. You can kind of scroll through. You want to go to In Plain Sight and it gives you some summary of it. And let's see if that'll let you rent anything. It's not one, does it? Let's go to Jackass, Jackass 3. And um, you can watch, preview, own, or rent the movie. Works in landscape mode too, as you can see there. Probably more preferred way of scrolling through the content. Movie store, TV store. Go through different sections and such. Kind of get the idea there. So that's real cool that they've added that. And um, it, it overall, it's it's pretty pretty decent software. It's fast with the one gigahertz processor. There seems to be a little bit of a sort of a, a hang up. It's not as smooth as I would like it. I think it needs an update to kind of make it very smooth. It's not as smooth smooth as the Fuse 4G. I know it has a 1.2 gigahertz processor, but I'm really not buying that. Just two, two, 200 megahertz faster than this is really the reason why there's a little bit of lag there. I think they just need to do a quick software update to it. You have your typical dial, um, dial screen there. Um, all, all, all the similar stuff that you've seen in touch with before. Nothing really too fancy outside of it, just besides the uh, media hub, which has been added. And you have your mobile hotspot feature as well. This is really fun to use as a hotspot with 4G. And I think it's currently uh, unlimited and included in your plan for a limited time right now. And um, other than that, that's pretty much the software that's inside the Samsung Infuse 4G. Let's go back outside and finish out the review. So as you can see, 
The Droid Charge by Samsung is one of the best phones on Verizon's network here. You have a fast processor inside of it. You have 4G LTE speeds, which are just simply fast, just really, really fast speeds. We use it as a mobile hotspot. It was great. You see with the Super AMOLED Plus display, the battery life is great on this. Like I said, we were able to get about a day and a half to two days of usage using the hotspot and everything without the need to charge. I mean, overall, this is a really, really solid device. My only caveat about it is, is once again, the speaker's not that great on it. And it's three hundred dollars right now that's a pretty high price tag for for phones out there and i understand they're making a price here between 3g and 4g but you got to imagine there's a lot more 4g devices coming out there so the more the liner that we get the better these prices are going to get so for 300 dollars, you might want to hold off a little bit on getting it but it's definitely one if you're looking at a 4g 4g phone on verizon to get the samsung android charge definitely a thumbs up here so this is bowman here from bw1.com reminding you subscribe to our youtube page follow us on twitter become a fan of our facebook fan page and also check out the written review the links of all that will be in the description here along with the written review as well and always remember to live your tech world in high definition